Hey. You now hear me? <laughs> Hello. Patty was Patty was just here. She left. So I guess I'm doing this by myself today. I don't know. We got a cat in the background. I'll get some help from the cat. Oh. Can y'all hear or see us okay? <laughs> Nobody's talking. Hello. Good day to all you fine folks out there. Hello. Who's here? Mr. Pete. Hey, Mr. Pete, how are you doing today? <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Thank you. <sighs> How's your day been so far? Okay, we're How's up. How's your day been so far? Well, yeah, he's talking to me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Moon Farm. Give me my uh, book right there. It's got oh. all those names. Hey, Moon Farm. Glad to have you. I saw you on another chat. <laughs> yep. I'm Earlier. Still writing people's names down. Excuse me. <laughs> Brenda. Hi there, Brenda. Making lemonade from lemons. How are you today? Patty's going to write your name I'm down. I'm trying to remember everybody's name again. I should have. I've been busy all morning and I haven't refreshed my memory. <laughs> Pete's been out splitting wood. I need to cut some wood. I got to get my. My chainsaw uh, back together. I'm doing a video on it. I had to uh, take my carburetor off and clean it, take it apart, and put it back together. So it's on my my uh, table out in the garage because I'm doing a video on it. So it's got it all set up and broke out, and so I'm trying to get my chainsaw fixed so I can cut some wood. So. You hang out to all the lives to learn. Well, I don't know what you're going to learn from us. I'd like to know. <laughs> learn what not to do, not how to act on Thank YouTube. you for coming, Moon Farm. What's your name, if you don't mind us asking? Uh, where are you from? That's pretty neat. Moon Farm. You say how to I Duncan. don't think you're from the moon. <laughs> Maybe her farm's on the moon. name. Yeah. She's part of the Space Force. <laughs> <laughs> You say hi to Duncan. Yeah, Miss Brenda. Are you cold? Tracy. Tracy. Northern Ohio. Oh, Northern Ohio. Okay. Mm. Good to have you. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, We've only passing through Ohio here and there. Pete said, just be yourself. <laughs> okay. I can't help it. This is it. This is what <laughs> this we is all are. You get. That's all you get. <laughs> Ain't nothing fancy here. <laughs> Got my heart. Land homesteader shirt on. Yeah, that was a picnic that we really enjoyed. Yeah, Kentucky. For those of you who don't know, um, Lee and Teresa from Stringfield Farms, and Tracy and Gons from Leap of Faith, and several other people put it together in Kentucky. That was a really good time. We had a good time there. Mm. Uh, yeah, Pete was there too. Oh <laughs> That's yeah, where we got to meet Pete. Yeah, great meeting Pete. <laughs> And he is so tall, <laughs> and I am so short. <laughs> How do you I, like? Hey, I already look up to Mac. Now hey, he no, looks hey. even taller than Mac. So, <laughs> oh, there, Teresa, Lee. How are you guys doing? Uh, we're having a heat wave. Forty-two today. degrees. Hey, we're having a heat wave. It was like 50, 50. 52 today. Yeah, it's it's been jumping from twenty-five. On up to no, nope, it dropped. It dropped to forty nine. Yeah, I needed to get out and change all of the jeep, but she took off this morning and was gone all day, so I didn't get. I to went do to that. church this morning. <laughs> well, I did too. I had church with Paul Boy. Yeah, well, I went to the local church. <laughs> it was a good church service. Don't yeah. ask me what it was about. Oh, you're good. sitting with mom. Oh, hope you have mm -hmm. a good day with her. Hope she's doing well today. The the rain it is sprinkling. It did that yesterday and today when it was supposed to not rain at all so we were gonna i was gonna get outside and i didn't want to get wet and get that's where i saw you moon farm was at uh po boys church <laughs> there you go that's a good place yeah <laughs> good place to meet people yeah <laughs> <laughs> did you i wonder if mims is gonna show up they might be busy did they say anything mm, I, 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 I posted on there that i was going live at three so mm. we'll be live at three o'clock every sunday i guess that's our time slot We'll see how it goes. <laughs> so, next Sunday's gonna be crazy because I think at five, you know, it's Super Bowl Sunday, so we were invited over to a friend's house. They're supposed to have like a big party and get together, and I think it started. We don't know yeah, <laughs> so we'll have this at three to four. And then right after four, we gotta like 
load stuff up and head over to their house. So it'll be a busy day next Sunday. It's just a good excuse to get with friends right now because I don't yeah. know anything about the team. Nah, I don't care nothing about it. We're just going over there because a lot of them that are going to be there we haven't seen in a while. Yeah. And it's like once a year thing. We haven't gotten out and socialized in so long. I don't even know what to do. So. Friends everywhere. So yeah. Some of them don't watch our YouTube channels. So. No. <laughs> We're like hermits here in the house. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot to do uh, around here. Keeps us busy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we um, one thing that we're going to do today is kind of hinted in the title. Um, we were challenged to do a, um, it was kind of like a newlywed question and answer thing. Kind of like the, I don't know, some of you have seen the Baker Creek one, but Windmill Farms, Grizz and Cat tagged us in doing one with murray mcmurray yeah but it, it wasn't a catalog like a newlywed thing. well that's what they called it oh. they called it something like that a newlywed foul thing yeah i'm trying to find it uh we watched it last night you gotta go to the mm -hmm. videos to find it oh okay. find right. the name of it what was it mm -hmm. he did it like a week or two ago oh yeah i guess it was a newlywed game the murray mcmurray edition um catalog but we yeah. hadn't got our yeah we had to yet. wait because we just got our catalog in i've been like dreaming of everything in there <laughs> socializing with socializing yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah we were supposed to get flurries monday and got a oh yeah i saw snowman. yeah i saw your picture of all that snow yeah i don't really believe the weatherman is i just go and look at the radar and then just kind of predict what i think it's gonna do <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> a lot of times where we live, a lot of the stuff, because we're close to the Mississippi River, sort of. Yeah. And it kind of will jump over the Mississippi River and hit more east from on the other side of us than us. So it's hard to predict our. Yeah, it seems like when that. these storm fronts hit the Mississippi River, they just. They dissipate do, or they jump over us. They do crazy stuff. And so. we never know what. I've actually seen really bad thunderstorms coming across. It hits that river and on the radar, it just, just goes away. It's crazy. And then form somewhere else. But we've had them forecast. Um, this was years ago, probably 15, 20 years ago. But uh, they said, uh, oh, it's not going to do anything. No accumulation. Crap. It. <laughs> we had sleet, ice, snow. I mean, people without power for months, power lines down. We were out without power for a week. So, it, yeah, it was crazy. You, I can't, I don't believe weathermen and what they say. So. Steady rain mix up there. Yeah. But I tell you what, Brenda, I mean, if I'm going to have bad weather, I think I'd rather have snow. Just have snow. I don't like it rainy and muddy yeah. and just drizzly and ice. Ugh. Let's let it snow. <laughs> we get bad. We get like ice storms here, and that's what's Thank bad. You, the, Pete. the freezing rain, man. Where it'll take a, it'll take a little limb that big, and that freezing rain will build up, and it just snaps trees, power lines, everything. That's what we get around here. Oh, um, man! I know. I saw that you didn't even make wine. it home. Hey, other Patty, welcome. <laughs> yep, we got a good Patty way up northwest. And then me down here. <laughs> Where's she at? Okay. She's in Oregon, Portland. Or oh, Portland, Oregon. I got some friends that live in Oregon. <laughs> I'll have them call you up and say hi. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've been. It's up pretty there. up there. I love Portland area. I've been through there. We've been through there several, quite oh, a bit. Yeah, back in the eighties. <laughs> yeah, I ain't been there since the eighties. Yeah, so. that's a long time ago. <laughs> uh, it's amazing how time flies. Yeah, it's muddy in Kentucky too, it's Teresa. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Our yard is it's so saturated. There's just standing puddles that just won't even go away. They're just just everywhere. It, it it has rained so much here that it's so saturated that the water is just staying in puddles. Uh, oh really? <sighs> Patty's son is there. That's good. That's your helpers. Uh, working in Ben stuff. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yep. <laughs> Man, we only got nine. I wonder where everybody's at. People are tired of watching our our third or fourth live they did. They Maybe can't take it no more. I wish we could. We talked about it because actually my oldest daughter was born in Tacoma, Washington. Yeah. At, uh, Madigan yeah. Army Hospital, whatever. Yeah. But um, and we talked about going back up there because we still have friends up 
in yeah, Seattle, a lot of good area and yeah. stuff. So we go through there. My best friend is like a brother to me. In fact, his dad, I call dad. I mean, they're we're really close. Um, um, still lives up there, and I've gone back several times up there. I'm a big Seahawks fan, so I've gone up there and gone to games at the um, the stadium up there, and so we got a lot of good friends still up there. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of places we'd like to visit again. <laughs> it's been a while. Yep, I need to win the lottery or something so we can travel. <laughs> I think those days are pretty much over. I'm so I'm glad we have uh, this live stuff or YouTube in general, so we can visit with people because technology is kind of nice to stay in contact in touch with um, people that live far away because it's getting harder and harder to go anywhere. So, and then especially if you're homesteading, unless you have people around that will help take care of your stuff. Now we haven't got to that point yet, but hey, little homestead. <laughs> Oh, uh, Moon Farm likes our painting. Lily Homestead. If you see it, get a better view there. <laughs> I'm looking under. <laughs> you see that better shot? I guess that's a Mexican in a hat. I don't know. Yeah, he's around all of his pots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ernie. Hello, Ernie. Oh, she said, I have lots of new friends down that way. Yep. I know. You yep. have really made Ernie. a lot of good friends. There's a lot of people in Arkansas, hey, Ernie. Mississippi area. Ernie lives kind of close to us. She travels back and forth through Memphis. I told you, you come through here, you give Let us a shout know. out, and we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll go out to eat. If anybody travels through, through Memphis, Memphis, you give us a call. Give us a holler. Us, we will we'll get you. together for lunch or dinner. <laughs> yeah, or at least give you a hug. It's an open through. invitation. <laughs> yeah, because we're about 20, 30 minutes south of there. Yeah, not far at all. Minutes. I mean, I work in Memphis, so I mean, we're in uh, Memphis all hi, the time. Hi, Mary. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Don't worry about being late. It's fine. <laughs> He's coming through Thursday. Ernie's there we go. Thursday. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you. I'll um. I'll PM you on Facebook my, our phone number, so you can um, call us. Yeah, I'll have the grandson. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> get somewhere. Speaking of children, sort of. <laughs> oh, we got a special we have a guest. Special guest today. Yeah. Um, we're hoping that he will grace us with his appearance. <laughs> and actually talk and say something. He's kind of shy. Yeah. When he wants to be. He's like his dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm going to come say hi. <laughs> we got our one and only son over here. Coming My baby. In. My baby is here visiting with us. Uh, Tinker's wife going to be in the cabin. Ooh. Oh, there's my son. This is Luke. Yeah. Uh, he grew up with free free labor in the garden. We taught him everything that we know about gardening. He's a master gardener. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then and then he had enough and doesn't want to come back. <laughs> How old are you? Twenty four. He's been growing his beard out. He wants to be manly. Yeah, his girlfriend <laughs> likes it. <laughs> yeah, he's got a new girlfriend. <laughs> We're learning all about that. <laughs> yeah, he's not a baby anymore, is he? <laughs> He'll always be my baby, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's very humble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that your girlfriend calling? Yes, <laughs> Oh, uh, oh he's yeah, when he was little, he'd run around. All he'd have on is a pair of shorts. And his rubber boots. Black rubber boots. And nothing else. Just shorts and rubber boots. He'd run all over. Man, he'd, he'd have a stick in his hand and use it stuff. like a machete and he'd be whacking everything and yep. going around. But he uh <laughs> he was a big help in the garden. But he would help Patty and uh yeah. and in the garden and us and yeah, he was a good he was a good little worker in the garden. We so. took classes at the local extension office and um we there was a Hey Mark. Welcome, over buddy. There that helped us learn and we got us a a tractor and we yeah. went to yeah. town we went farmer we did farmers market yep luke uh helped pick it all and then we'd load the truck up and we'd go to town yep sit he, at the farmers market and sell stuff yep <laughs> he was the reason because we got this special loan through the uh, uh usda usda they gave us like five thousand dollars and that's how we got our tractor and a bunch of stuff. That's how we got started. So to pay for it, we had to grow a big garden 
okay. sell our produce. It was all part of the program of the farming or whatever for the, the money that we got. And uh, so we would take truckloads of stuff down and sell it. They would actually come out and they would inspect our garden, ask how we were doing. And it was a pretty good program. I don't even know if they still have that anymore, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. So we gardened for really hard for what, four to pay it off, four years? Five. Five years. Five years. So we had to work really hard for like five years selling all of our produce and stuff. Hey, Grammy Karen. That's see someone said hi to you. <clears throat> Got a lot going on on your side of the world over there. We were late, but I did get to see the Stivers uh, excitement premiere and reveal they did. Did everybody see that? <laughs> we got more goats. <laughs> I don't know else out there anyway. Y'all need to go see that. <laughs> Too late. They got goats. I'm like, I thought they had goats. They well, got they got more goats. <laughs> they got special goats. And then they got something that came something special that came with yeah. the goats. Oh, they got too. the Nubians. Those, yeah, different. Yeah, they're registered. Yeah. <laughs> if I get if I ever, I don't think I'll get if I get goats, I it, I would like the Nubian. I like them. I don't know. They're just I like them. Yeah, I don't know nothing about goats. Yeah, and I have been around them and I don't know anything about goats, but just me personally, I like goats. that breed. Yeah, so. they're registered goats. The other ones were not, but these are now. So they're cute little goats, though. Yeah. We didn't get to see. We saw most of the video. Did we see it all? No, no not quite. Yeah. It was, yeah. 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 They were cute. <laughs> yeah, they're registered goats. You knew that was what it was? Pete's smart. He knew what it was. <laughs> Super duper special. Oh, that's right. And a dog. Didn't they get a dog? Yeah, that yeah. was the special thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like, did y'all see BW? Oh, hey, Kevin. Well, be is? careful. He's driving. Oh. <laughs> Put the phone down. No, he's on. The, we're on a laptop. <laughs> oh, you're on my laptop. <laughs> did y'all see VW Family Farms uh, premiere of that chicken. freaking mansion chicken coop that they built on that big trailer? That thing that was, was huge. awesome. God, that is just, that was a work of art. That was beautiful. Yeah. Did y'all see that? Yeah, that was a really <clears> cool <throat> thing. I, that's one thing I like that I'm learning about chickens is the fact that how they can be used for, so, you know, to help you on your homestead instead of just being for laying eggs or, you know, eating them or whatever. They insect control and <laughs> helping fertilize and, you know, stuff like that. And that's what I guess Ben is using it for with his cattle. Yeah, and his livestock um, is helping. put it out in the pasture and spread out all the manure and keeping Plus, the flies down, keeps the flies down, eat the flies. Down. So yeah. that was pretty cool. That's good information. Y'all need to go watch that if you haven't seen it. It too. was called the cluck wagon. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> Instead of the chuck wagon, the cluck wagon. Hey, if y'all are just now coming in, this is my son Luke. Yeah, we were talking about when he was little, he we um, made him work out in the garden and stuff. <laughs> And then he ran away and won't come back. <laughs> yeah. He, really like, he moved out. He's like, I'm done. I'm gone. Well, I'm hoping that eventually when he starts his family, he'll know how to take care of him and it'll all come back to him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lily Homestead, the uh, Roots and Refuge helped him. I saw my, um, Maya, and Maya over there. I never did see. Um, no, it was just, just a, Maya. Intern ben, ben is what they call him. Yeah. Uh, his uh, oh, worker, Ben, that works with yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yeah. You about to put in your chicken order, Mary? Well, that's what we're we're thinking about doing. We're not going to do it just yet, but we're going to be. Uh, oh. Mark said hi to you. Yeah, Mark's Hello, Mark. Hello, Mark. He's, he's, he's from Tennessee. He's my <laughs> Mark's my brother from another mother. <laughs> <laughs> so they, his son just turned seventeen. <laughs> Organic raw root farm high from Florida. Wow, how's the weather down there? I bet it's nice. Lou. Hey, Lou. Lou. Yay, Lou. Lou. Just Lou. <laughs> She's, She's our just Mississippi Lou. gal. True Mississippi gal, friend. Yeah, she's our country neighbor down a couple hours. <laughs> yeah, I know. They drive me nuts. <laughs> cats. Yeah, we're going to have a cat fight back here pretty soon. Oh, my goodness. These stupid cats. <laughs> Anybody want any cats? 76. Wow. Oh, wow. That's kind of nice. Hey, Walterman Homestead. <laughs> Anything in the 70s is really nice. <laughs> Thanks for joining like us. Perfect weather. Uh, yep. Well, 76. Oh, my goodness. That's that's nice. That grandma came out. I got four. I mean, we got three. Oh, we got three. What? We got three and two dogs. Uh, right. Oh, man. My dog, if y'all watch my videos, my big brown dog, Bo. 
I think he got, I don't know, I think he got hit by a car. Um, he lies to chase cars. Yeah, I'm hoping that that cured him. He's lucky he's not dead, but um, yes, Lou, this is our son, Luke. <laughs> but uh, he got two really bad cuts on him. One of them on his hip, it was just, it was like all the skin was just cut off. It was a big round uh, spot on him. And then on the inside of his leg, it looked like the skin had kind of filleted and so I went down to the co-op and bought some medicine. I asked them and they gave me the stuff that the vet recommended. It wasn't cheap. It was like $27 a bottle, but I'm going to tell you what. We can't afford that $1,500 vet bill. So that, we're trying to do it ourselves right now because it's bad, but it's not that bad. So we're trying to figure it out. That medicine was amazing. I've been spraying it for the last three or four days. And I mean, that it's amazing how well the, the cuts are healed. But he's having trouble with his left hip. He's not putting any weight on it. So I don't. I don't know. We might. I don't know what we're gonna do. So uh, anyway. Oh no! My neighbor's cat killed my duck today. Ooh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mm. Yeah, cats can be. A, cats and dogs. They're you know they're good to have, but then they're also. A hey, challenge. get that bottle down there. That's by the door. It's a spray bottle on the back. Uh, Stringfield wants to know. Oh okay. That we got it from the co-op. I'm gonna tell you what. I'll stand behind this stuff. That, that it was amazing. The one on his hip, I didn't even cover it up. I just sprayed it on there. The other one, it was so bad, I had to wrap it up with some gauze and I sprayed it and wrapped it up with some. For about know, a day. You know, that yeah. horse bandage, that stretchy stuff. But this is it right here. If you can see that. Oh, the Macs are here. Hi, is that Misty? Or and Misty? that stuff is amazing. I'll read the name of it. Better, better. I can't read that. They can see it. Can y'all see that? It's backwards, though. No, they can see it different. That's it. So, anyway. If you want to know more, text me. <laughs> Email me. You like my hat, Mark? <laughs> Air National Guard? <laughs> anyway, hey, if y'all got animals, no lie. If y'all got animals, they ever get cut or anything, I don't know if y'all get this. It's an but antibiotic, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's an antimicrobial hydro something gel, but I sprayed it on there, and that stuff is phenomenal. I mean, his hip on the right, it was so, it, it was bad. It just like somebody pulled the skin and whack, cut it off. And I mean, within like three days, it was like scabbed over great. And that's some good stuff. So. Yeah, we've been watching him. I've been giving him natural antibiotics in his food. So he's doing okay. He's doing all right. So if you got any kind of animal, go, it's for goats, horses, I mean, whatever. You know, llamas, you can got a llama on there. <laughs> got a picture of a llama. So. For those of you who have llamas, <laughs> I don't. <know. laughs> got some alpaca friends, but I don't know anybody who has a llama. Does I'm them out. Llama? When I get my pasture done, I'm getting a buffalo. I want a buffalo. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to have a buffalo. Where the buffalo roam? <laughs> be in our backyard. <laughs> and then I could like strip down to my loin cloth and my bow and arrow and sneak through the weeds and. Oh my. Kill him. We will not video like, that. Back in the old days, and skin him out. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I might do a video on that. That'll be a good video. No, no, no. <laughs> Three Musketeers Homestead. Hello. Welcome. She dog's always getting hurt. I know. Uh, <laughs> that's why I mean. Some of, it's the challenge. And I'm not used to that. Not used to that. Michelle P. Yay, Hello, Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they are. Oh, there's TNS awesome. dogs and dragonflies. Little homestead. Did Julie, I already say that? What was your name? Oh, TNS I just dogs. met you on the other channel. What was your name? Julie, I think, or something like that. No, Shelly. Shelly. Y'all are <laughs> just Shelly. coming in. We got a special guest. My son Luke. Oh, it's available on Amazon. My only son. That's nice to know. Uh, Chatty says it's available on Amazon. That medicine Mac was showing. Along you. the river, it said, says, "Where's the foul language?" Okay, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> we ain't got there yet. Well, we talked about it just a minute ago, but yeah. Uh, yeah. the reason why we're going to be speaking foul language is we have a Murray McMurray catalog. <laughs> yes. It's the new one, and I love it. It's like a Christmas catalog. <laughs> uh, I All I know is chickens are chickens, so I'm in big trouble. <laughs> We had chickens years ago, but we got them locally. And all I remember is they were calling them bannies, 
which I'm assuming they were bantam. Because, Ban yeah, yeah. Because they, they were, were the smaller chicken. Yeah. And that's what we had. And oh, we must have had 20 or so. I don't remember how many we had. We had and they were kind of wild. I think we. I think I we just captured we them wild from like the neighbors, but I don't even think it was the neighbors. They were just, remember, it's like the, them? it's like the guineas, the guineas just showed up and we had guineas flying all over the place. I mean, like literally flying like birds and just everywhere, wild guineas. It was crazy. No, so. Luke's not my only baby. Um, let's see. Moon family has three boys and two girls and a baby girl on the way. Wow. Okay. You're young. I'm old. This is my baby baby and he's 24. I have two other children. We have two other children. Um, yeah, my oldest, our oldest is in California. She's 34 years old and she has a family with her husband and two boys. And then our other daughter is 28 and she lives about 20 minutes from here, right close to Luke. They both live uh, in the town of here when she has one son, Elliot. Well, they live in apartments. Husband. Luke is upstairs. She's downstairs. Yeah. And Luke could hear everything <laughs> going on downstairs <laughs> in his sister's house. <laughs> well, and vice versa. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And then our, about oldest. our age. I know, Megan, I could be your mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's not get into age here. We're all the same age in this community. <laughs> and then our other star, did you say she was in California? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My oldest in California. And she so got two, a, and she's got two kids. So two girls and one boy. I got three grandsons. Three grandsons. So Africa, tiny house. Uh, she here too. Hello, everybody. Yeah. So. yeah, she's from out west, I think, somewhere. <laughs> I can't remember. I'm <laughs> young. Mark my said not young, almost forty, and too old to be pregnant. <laughs> yeah, forty. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of old to be pregnant. <laughs> no, it isn't. I've got several friends who had their baby at forty. <laughs> Uh, I know, but still, it's kind of. I know most people say that's old, old. but anyway, yeah. Well, my friend, my coworker, you know, she's like what 38, 39 or something. She's pregnant. She's at like high risk. But anyway, we won't go into that. My baby is twenty eight. Uh, my youngest is older than Luke. <laughs> my youngest is older than Luke. Well, that does not say a whole lot. <laughs> okay, right. well, it's three twenty. Should we do something here? We have got to get into this little thing. So you want to see us make strange fools out of ourselves on this chicken business. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, like I was telling you earlier that we were challenged to do this. It's from Windmill Farms from Grizz and Cat. And I'm sorry, we don't not very good at links and stuff. Yeah, if somebody can go over there to Windmill Farms and uh, it's the uh, newlywed game, the Murray McMurray edition. And post that link here and we were tagged to do it but we haven't had time so yeah was, we had to order the catalog and we get had to it order in. the catalog and like we got it in and i was like oh let's do this here yeah <laughs> we'll see if we can get through it now i'm very ignorant like just said on chicken so i look through there and a little bit well when we get chickens <laughs> and i've said this before i want rhode island reds and the only reason i want wrote well several reasons is because when i was growing up my grandma lived next to us and she had a huge flock and a big pen and barn and everything. And they were Rhode Island Reds. And I thought those were huge chickens, but they're really good chickens. They are a good meat bird and good layers. So that's why I want those. So yeah, at this point, we want something versatile that will yeah. help in different ways. And um, so. yeah, for meat and eggs. And they're great layers and they're big birds for meat. So until we get yeah. into chickens more and figure out really what we want, is that Lee? Get something. <laughs> Stringfield is that no. Leah? Who is that, Teresa? Blue cup clip. No, that's Teresa. She's sitting with her mama. <laughs> yeah, look, they cheated me on the E. <laughs> they gave me a cup. It's the blue. <laughs> yeah, they cheated me on the E. I, and they made me think I lost it. I'm like, man, did that? And, but they never put it on there. Yeah, uh, she <laughs> kind of confessed the other day that it was her, not us. But, but. <laughs> Uh, Michelle P has a granddaughter that's two years old. What is my, my granddaughter almost 27. Mm. Wow, <laughs> I lost an E. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Well, you want to do this thing? <laughs> yeah, is, the first question is name a chicken breed that your partner would describe you as. And I'm gonna go first because I've already picked that one. I think Patty would be a buff or Orpington. Can you see that picture? Look at that. 
Doesn't that just look like a high society, sophisticated lady right there? She got her head held high. Just a little fluffy, not too bad. <laughs> but look at that. That's what I, I'm a little I, fluffy, I not just, too bad. Did you hear that? That's, that's what I think. <laughs> Let me see that kind I described that as Patty. <laughs> <laughs> I think the reason why we're supposed to be doing this is also to help bring the furry. So this is really a cool catalog. And I'm learning a little bit about chickens, although I don't know. She was going to describe me as the... What was that? The, um, the turkey chicken that looks no, like a, I was not. a buzzard. You know, it don't have any feathers or anything on its neck. It's real ugly. That's he did not. That's what she said. She I did not. Y'all know. Don't listen to him. <laughs> I'm sorry, but to me, that is one chicken that will never step foot on my plate. That is the ugliest speaking bird. Here. <laughs> so, that was the first question. No, you didn't. Oh. Uh, um, did any of y'all have those chickens? I just. That's just personal preference. I just hate the way they look. They just creep me out. <laughs> Some people have them. Okay, yeah, I have no idea what Mac Mac is. Uh, le Legacy Home and Garden. Fluff, fluff is good. A little fluff is good. A little fluff. <laughs> I don't mind a little fluff. Uh, yeah, the Tinker's Wife, those are creepy looking. They creep me out. I'll tell you another thing I'll never get. I don't know if I've ever said this, but is those earless. Never say never. <laughs> earless goats. <laughs> You know, they look like aliens. I'm sorry. They don't have any ears. They creep me out. <laughs> I think, I think uh, Ruta Refuge has some. Those, those goats just creep me out, man. Okay. They just look weird. Oh, thank you, Brenda. <laughs> thank you for putting them up there. We forgot to even tell them we were doing this, so I guess they'll hear about it later. <laughs> they are. They're alien goats. Have you ever looked at one right in the face? They talking have no about ears. <laughs> oh, those fearless goats creep me out. Okay, I have no idea which one Mac belongs to. I think of the old cartoon that uh, Leghorn Foghorn dude. <laughs> Is that me? That's Mac. I'm the. I'm the. He's a country dude. I'm, I'm the cartoon rooster. That's yeah, me. he's the cartoon rooster. <laughs> <laughs> I think they had some of those in here, but I can't find them right now. <laughs> the next question. <laughs> okay. Um. What was the first breed of chickens you? partner added to the list did you add any to the list um no <laughs> no i just want chickens oh but you wanted uh, you like I those, the ones who, uh, what were they called bard rock the the black and white speckled ones oh yeah yeah i, I don't know where they are they're like that too oh, yeah bard rock yeah. yeah 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 we might get some of those too i don't know yeah i mean i'm going off of what i've seen around here that other happy Sabbath. Have. Hey, happy Sabbath. Oh, Jordan. Yay. Hi, Jordan. <laughs> we love happy Sabbath. It's our cute little rabbit friend. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I watch all her videos. Yes. She's really cute with all her rabbits. We're so she's glad girl. you stopped by, Jordan. <laughs> we're she talking said, chickens and we don't know what I don't know what I'm talking about. So, okay, Murray McMurray, we're supposed to be talking foul language here. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Legacy Home and Garden said, oh, we all getting chickens. Well, we're up to this year, but we're just playing this Murray McMurray newlywed game. Yeah, we had chickens years ago. Like I said, um, they were little bantams, little banny chickens is what we used to call them. And it was nasty experience for me. <laughs> and um, my kids were home, so we all took turns. And then we just kind of like got rid of them little by little. Actually, I think nature helped us get rid of them little by little, too. So. Man, the chat's going. I can't keep up with y'all's uh <laughs> conversation uh, oh we used to who said crap where it goes somebody said they had silkies oh organic yeah. robert we had some when i was growing up and we had the meats or something like that weasels got into them and killed them all okay mark uh, and sarah are gonna go uh, from overlook valley homestead are gonna go live at five o'clock i believe and they're driving to town so they will have better reception yep to do their live so the brochure the brassards are here hey brassards hey brett and amy Brett, Poppy Sabbath has ten. I can't pronounce that name. Anyway, y'all read that. She's got a bunch of chickens. Yes, <laughs> yeah. She's got Rhode Island red. I thought oh, those were Rhode Island reds, Robin Jordan. King. You know, there are so many varieties. Now maybe they're not all under. I don't know how the general and whatever. There's so many varieties of things I can't keep up with it. it depends oh, on where you live. There's the link uh, Duncan put up. That's the um, uh, Windmill Farms tagged us in doing this newlywed questionnaire thing yeah. with the Murray McMurray catalog. So we're we're like fumbling our way through this, okay? 
Oh, hey, Hard Neck Farm. Farm. Hello, hey. guys. We've seen you in other uh, lives. Hobby <laughs> uh, Savage has 32 rabbits. Oh, Ray's here. Hey, Ray from Horticulture Geek. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to make it over to Little Rock area and visit them. He is so See, look, cool. Overlook Valley said Rhode Island Red and Plymouth Rock are great layers. Yeah. Okay. We need something simple <laughs> for me to do for the first time by myself. <laughs> well, Mac will be around somewhat. <laughs> I have a trailer sitting out there in the weeds that I'm going to pull out and I'm going to build He's a dreaming since DW Family Farm. chicken coop. <laughs> A smaller version of what BW Family <laughs> Farms did. Yeah. <laughs> if y'all haven't seen that premiere on the chicken coop, it's called the Cluck Wagon at BW Family Farms. Y'all go check that out. Yeah, most of you probably have seen that. That's pretty cool. Sweet, great layers and great mamas. Oh, thank you. Yay, Buff or Orpington. That's what Max said I am. <laughs> so I'm a, I'm a sweet. <laughs> She's a Buff Orpington. <laughs> Rhode Island Reds are the best. Okay, Jordan, we're going to keep that in mind. That, for some reason, has always been a name of bird that has always come up, you know, for us. So that's one we know of. So that's probably what we're going to end up getting. Although I'm going to be a girly girl and say that I do want some colored layers, some colored eggs, you know, eventually. Maybe she wants the Easter egg chickens. Yeah, yeah Easter you egg. know, I mean, something different because people <laughs> have in mind, and I know most of you probably know this, Easter egg, that, yeah, freaky geek. <laughs> that if it's colored, it's more natural or something. If it's white, it's not as nutritional or natural. And some people just think that the colored eggs, I don't know. Anyway, that's just kind of a weird, and I, and it's not that I know of. I've never heard any nutritional difference between the colored eggs and the white ones. So, but anyway, but I'll just be a girly and I want some colored eggs. <laughs> what kind of chicken do you get, Luke? I'm not <laughs> <laughs> if the Lord blesses us with eggs, he'll be getting eggs. I bet, you know, <laughs> I may make him come down and help me every now and then. <laughs> Although <laughs> that's not very easy. <laughs> Hoppy Sabbath, you need to downsize some of your rabbits. <laughs> you, I ain't never in my life seen so many rabbits. <laughs> Yep. Overlook Valley got bored of the brown eggs. Bard Hollands. One of these days, I will get them. Horticulture Geek. I'm with you. One of these days, we're going to get things that we want. <laughs> right yeah. now, we're dreaming through this thing and just kind of learning. So, what's our next question? We're never going to be here forever. Which breed uh, is an absolute must for your partner? Well, we already said that. But Rhode Island Reds. Rhode Island Reds. I got to have so. Rhode Island Reds. My grandma, I was raised with Rhode Island Reds as a kid, and it's just memories of my grandmother so i don't care what else i get i'm getting rhode island red so that's just because it reminds me of my grandmother okay so. what is the next question uh which breed did your partner write down because they thought you wanted it well i knew he wanted rhode island bread so i i knew that part of it but what do you think you thought i wanted these speckled ones too we already no. talked about that i thought you liked the little baby the little the little small cute ones well uh, i don't know hmm. I, I, I have no idea. This is a really bad. <laughs> we, did, we, were, we didn't practice this before we got on here. So. I mean, we said we would do this, but I thought we would. I don't know. Anyway, which breed did they yeah, avoid they because they thought you did not want it? Well, we knew that for sure. I knew that Mac did not want those ugly naked neck things. <laughs> yeah, those turkins or whatever though. Man, those are ugly yeah. chickens. Which I have no idea what page well, on. You know, they don't have feathers on their neck. So. Okay, I'm not promoting Murray McMurray very well because I don't know their catalog. I didn't dream good enough through it. <laughs> yes, we used to have chickens. We used to have chickens. Yeah, we had little banny chickens a long time yeah. ago. And then natural selection. We had some guineas and killed them out. chickens and we had horses. And, and possums and everything else. <laughs> So. Yep, yep. But uh, <sighs> actually, it was my kids that had them most of all. My oldest daughter, she was the chicken person. But after a while, she we weren't able to take care of them, and she got tired of them, I guess. I don't even remember how it ended. That was like 15, 20 years ago. <laughs> now, more like 15 years ago, probably. <laughs> Anybody want to ask Luke a question? Yeah, this is our no. handsome son, Luke. This is my baby. He's not married. <laughs> Uh, oh, Miss Don Brenda Duncan is getting some turkey eggs a day. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna build the next one. I thought that's one of these questions. Okay, 
lick up the ducks and which breed of ducks would you choose <laughs> hmm. moon farm to the ugly naked neck things <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're giving it our own name <laughs> <laughs> legacy home and garden that's us uh, we all we have is garden right now i mean we got dogs and dogs and cats, dogs and cats but, but that's it but i'm hoping to get uh start incorporating animals this year but we're just playing the newlywed uh murray mcmurray <laughs> game um yeah, out of the murray mcmurray catalog is all we so. did have um Hello, neighbors who had ducks and stuff so Everybody saying hi to my handsome. Yeah, when no, we first moved here, chance. we had there were literally wild guineas that would fly around, wild chickens roaming. Did you tell him his name was Lucas? No. Hey, Overlook Valley. Yes, his real name is Lucas, but we his nickname's Luke. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said that. I don't, I don't know if I told you. Everybody that. saying hi. <laughs> He's my sweet son. <laughs> and our neighbor had geese and ducks, and they would come down and poop all in our yard and man you know geese man there was goose poop everywhere <laughs> you couldn't walk out in the yard without stepping in goose poop well, they were pretty good noise makers when Thank stuff you. was in the, you in the area no 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 he's probably <laughs> gonna do chickens if he gets any more serious with his girlfriend he's probably gonna move to texas i don't know uh, <laughs> yeah he's gonna move away from it so we we might in a few years be moving to texas i don't know no Okay, what other types of birds does your partner want the most? Okay, I'll answer this, and they're in here. Mac is always Ooh. dreaming that he wants pheasants. Yes. He keeps saying he wants pheasants. Yes. And so, what kind? I have no idea, but he, he wants pheasants. And I actually, Mac and I both talked about getting quail. See you, Mark. See y'all. Um, because. See a little bit on your live school. Are you in school? No, he's out. No, I'm out of school. He done got educated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He got his associate's degree, and that was about it. That's all he Southern Bella home. Yay. <laughs> Miss Sharon. Hello, Miss Sharon. <laughs> they have it. Miss Sharon at Southern Bella Homes just, they're in process of making hey. their beautiful chicken coop. She's so classy lady. So she's going to make a classy chicken coop, too. <laughs> so I'll be sorry. They want to move to Texas. Happy Sabbath. Okay. Yeah. Hey, we'll get together and we'll, we'll get some land together. next to each other. We'll be neighbors. <laughs> we help each other out. I'll give you chickens until that you give me rabbits. This is a big <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So anyway, I was just going to say we might get quail eventually because we have a lot of good friends who are talking us into it and showing us how profitable they are as far as um easy to get meals out of and take care of and stuff too so that's something maybe in the future for us tns dog that is true these guineas it, man it was a flock of them it was like six of them and they were loud and they would literally man they would they would fly from one end of the place i mean they would fly better than a bird i mean it was crazy Hi, Francine. Hello. who's that because <laughs> our friend from the chicago area <laughs> francine and bill do you remember <laughs> yeah. oh yeah 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 <laughs> Uh, yeah, Samson Farms does the quail. Yeah, Legacy Home. He's very good the at the quail. Did you see yeah. horticulture geek, what he says? Yeah, going to Ole Miss. <laughs> hey, best time going to school there. Was he a party animal? Was you a party animal? Ray, yeah, he's probably horticulture a party geek. Animal. That's what the, uh, that's kind of the reputation that Ole Miss has around here is the yeah, partiers. Yeah, uh, party, party. <laughs> Party yeah, place. Mississippi State is the ag people and Ole Miss is the party people. <laughs> yep. Uh, but we haven't gone to either one of the campuses, so we're, we're not saying anything negative Florida. about them. We don't Warm know. Year. <laughs> Warm all year. Warm all year. I like Florida. Florida's fun to visit. Yeah, I don't like all the storms and everything coming through there. <laughs> yeah, he said he would not admit to anything. <laughs> What happens in college stays in college. <laughs> yeah, th that's another reason why uh, Michelle, she's saying, you can keep the chickens and rabbits, I'll take the poop. The fertilizer that the livestock of these things do is very good for your garden and things like that too, so. Hey, never enough time. I think that's the next question on here. It says, uh, one of them. Oh, the very last one. Okay, they're talking about geese. I don't think that we'll get geese unless we get a, 
a goose to be with our chickens because we did have one goose one time. Our neighbor passed away and his yeah. geese adopted us. Yeah. And we didn't really know about it more yeah. or less. We thought they were supposed to be living up there, but um, we have a pond over here and they were coming over here more and one of them got killed. And then next thing I know, the other, the last one was hanging out around my house and I didn't know what to do with it for, you know, and we did, we got another goose from our trade days is the local flea market thing to maybe keep it company. And um, what happened was the new geese wanted to go out to the pond more and the, 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 the neighbor's goose knew that it was kind of dangerous. I think at certain times, anyway, they ended up both getting killed <laughs> and I was so sad <laughs> because he was kind of becoming a little pet, but he would hang around the house more and I had water up here for him, but you know, we had predators and we didn't have a way to keep them safe at the time. I mean, this was in with a matter of a couple weeks. And it Plus, geese are good uh, protectors and watchdogs. Yeah. Wasn't that in a movie, The uh, Paper Brigade? Geese with army tags? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who said that? Somebody said Organic that. Organic roads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dog tags on them. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, we do want to get possibly you know get some guineas too but we we've been told and that if you get them when they're smaller and train them just like any other animal i guess you would say that they will hang around and you know you can train them more or less um so you know the guineas we had here that found us were older and they flew to the neighbors and everywhere and caused trouble but if we can get some that will just stay here and you know warn us you know about predators and different things then that would be good so uh, yeah i remember y'all never enough time i just keep forgetting that never enough time is y'all but I, <laughs> yeah, I you used to be under your yeah. name Fred. yeah i know so yeah <laughs> yeah i always enjoyed talking to your husband there he was. hope y'all are doing good oh okay yeah we yeah. like all those little movies those are fun <laughs> um and i want to get some turkeys Yes, and he wants turkeys too. And but what I only I want a certain breed. I want the uh, age sixty-three. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't want. Um, I, you know, if, if y'all got them, hey, that's fine. It's just personal preference. But you know, like the big white turkey. When I think of a turkey, I don't think of a big white turkey. I think of, you know, the traditional, the traditional turkey like uh, that. <laughs> you see that? That's what I want. <laughs> but I don't really want their broad breasted bronze, just a regular standard bronze turkey because they get about 36 pounds and that's that's good for meat. But um, yeah, that's what kind of turkeys I want. So. Yeah, I mean, we're not thinking I mean, the, of the white turkeys are, you know, they're pretty. I just when I think of a turkey, I don't think of a white turkey. I think of a wild looking natural turkey. So anyway, yeah. Bill says <laughs> hello and he remembers like talking to yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, we had a good talk. We, man, we talked for a long time. <laughs> Yeah. I talked to everybody at that picnic as I could. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we gotta get rid of this quiz or get sorry, we need to finish this quiz. Um, what is your preferred method of raising chickens? Do you want a chicken tractor, stationary coop, or and run or free range? Okay, we had a standard coop and it was nasty. Yeah, <laughs> it was small and we had like 20 birds in there. Yeah, it was muddy, stunk, yeah. It's, we it's, learned our lesson from that. Chickens, so. chickens were nasty. We had too many of them in there, and I didn't. It was Bye, Jordan. Scary. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate that. Aww. Hey, y'all go check her channel out. I love her channel. You like rabbits. Yeah. You'll see Hoppy Sabbath. Yeah. Y'all go show her some love. Yeah. We've been watching her for Why a long time. Yeah. <laughs> like, probably since her first video or something. I don't yeah. Know. So. Sweet girl. All righty. Um, um, yeah. So. We're going to do it differently. We, we want to, you know, get some of that fencing the electric fencing like premier one or whatever and move them around our place so that's what we'd like to not now i will have like a stationary uh area Mikey bowls, like a stationary and put them up tractor. at night you know or something or yeah you know, or tractor or whatever i said i've got that trailer out there that i'm gonna we just need to put a chicken them coop at night that. because we have too many predators yeah we live right next to the uh reserve uh a lake uh Arca Butler. Arca Butler Lake, yeah. which is part so, of the state. So, I mean, lake. there's coyotes, dogs, cats. You know, people, let possum, their animals foxes. Loose. Yeah, so. You name it. So. Yeah. Oh, bye, Ray. See you here, Horticulture Geek. See you later. Thank you for coming. <laughs>
Uh, yeah, I don't know a lot about the fencing. I just know everybody uses Premier One, and so I mean that's. We have a lot to learn. Yeah, but, it's got to um, be good. So that's why we watch everybody. Yeah, that's why we watch everybody too to learn. So, but um, I'm hoping to get to. It's kind of expensive. For us, it is at yeah. the moment. We need to plan it out. We've got other things that we need to do this year, so that are taking our attention and money. But we would like to get a little bit of chickens, and if we do. It may just be in a traditional coop and just a little bit of them, you know, five or six of them or something. But um, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something with my barn because the this, the it's the roof is caving in. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it I don't even know if it could be fixed or it'd be worth it or if I'm just going to tear it down and just build a new one. I don't know. We're so. waiting till Prepstetter Bob gets here and he gives us some good advice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, he'll probably look at our whole place and just say, pour gas on it, light it. No. <laughs> <laughs> he will be here in a few weeks. We're hoping he will be here in at Trip least two or three weeks. We're not sure. The self-reliant home show um, with Prep Stutter Bob and Mrs. D. Are, we're on their season two trek. So we're hoping um, they play it by ear because they do help people out and they don't know how long it's going to take. So they're, I think... They're still in with the Broussards right now, and they will be in Texas probably tomorrow or, or on their way, I guess. I'm, I'm guessing because that's the way it sounded like they were going to do. So, um, yeah, so pray for them as they're traveling around, and uh, we've got to prepare Mr. Bob when he gets here. <laughs> Man, <laughs> there's so much. Everything I warn him before he gets here. <laughs> there's so much. I'm sure y'all are the same way. we got so much to do right there. My list is just just the maintenance mechanic work. I got to change the oil in the Jeep. I've got my chainsaw tore down. I'm doing a video in it on removing, cleaning and replacing the carburetor. I've got to get that running. And just the list is a mile long and there's no way I could. Yeah, I Max, was, um, <clears throat> guard military retirement's coming up. So I'm planning the meal for that. It's a little reception area thing and babysitting my grandson. There's just life keeps you busy. Woo! So we do what we can. <laughs> So, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're doing that. But it's been fun dreaming through the catalog. <laughs> Legacy Hobart Guard. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's not a list anymore. It's a book. <laughs> That's the truth. Uh, I feel your pain on that. I used to have a clipboard that had a list of stuff that we need to do. And we've got that same list that we've had for probably 15 years. And there's not very many things that have been marked off. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we need to get better at that. <laughs> Mm. We need to learn some more accountability and getting things done. <laughs> mm. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, we're getting there. But anyway, hey, everybody check out, we're supposed to be telling everybody, check out the Murray McMurray catalog. We'll teach you about some chickens because I'm learning from it a little bit. And um, they got a good variety. They also have, like, um, suggestions for, like, uh, groupings of stuff. So they have like a homesteaders starter pack and stuff like that, but they will um, tell you, you know, what are good ones to start with. And then of course they have all the supplies for your chickens and egg collection and all that kind of good stuff. So you sound smart. Like, you know what you're talking about. No, I'm just looking at the catalog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a professional catalog person <laughs> yes it's my chicken dream but it's like a, it's like getting the sears christmas catalog at christmas or the baker's time. creek catalog that's what baker's it's like creek, yeah. get it and you got to figure out what is good for you and your yeah. area we all want every seed that's in that catalog but not everything's going to grow in our area and we need to learn that <laughs> so. this is what i would like to do this is it will probably won't happen but this is what i want to do it's, it's my dream but i would like to drive up to Murray McMurray up in um, Iowa and go to their place and pick out my own whatever I'm getting chickens, turkeys, or whatever. Go up there. Around for a you long can go time. up there and pick them all out, put them in a the box, pick your own animals out, and then bring them home. I thought that would be a pretty good trip up there. I would like to do that. Yeah, yeah. see, they've been established since what, 1917. So the company's been around for a long time. I, I remember Mac and I reading through their catalogs years ago, too. So. What does the homestead collection include? Um, okay, Miss Francine. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> Assortments. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, if y'all are interested, uh, Duncan1900 just put up the Windmill Farm Newlywed Game, Murray McMurray Edition. 
go check out that uh, video because they're the one that tagged us in it. And um, so if anybody else wants to do it, if you got the catalog, uh, it would be fun to hear, um, you know, what your answers and things are. So pretty good. Yeah, Legacy Home and Garden. I would, I would love to do that. I mean, it would be, it would be an all-day drive going up there. Of course, you know, it's been light. Then the next day, go to the place, pick out all my animals, you know, the chickens and whatever I was getting, and then drive home. Um, I don't know. I just think it would be, it would be neat to do that. You know. Mm -hmm. so. You can go call her. Who is it? It's your mother. My mother. <laughs> my mother's calling. <laughs> She yeah. keeps forgetting that we're famous now. We have a YouTube channel. No, no. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, we're up to 758 subscribers. That is crazy. I just, that just blows my mind. And when I tell my friends at work or something, they're like, they're, they get freaked out too. They're like, what? So. I lost the page, Francine. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I thought it was a, a big listing. <laughs> It's a free catalog. You just got to order a catalog. <laughs> Go on their website too. Go online, Google Murray McMurray, whatever, bring it up, and you can get a free catalog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, keep uh, talking. Yeah. <laughs> I have, okay, I got to keep talking to entertain y'all. So, I don't know where it went. I, 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 I can sing. Anybody got a request? I love ABBA. I can sing ABBA. Well, y'all don't do that. Hard neck barbs, I get them catalogs and drool. Yes. Yes. And it was in the back. I've been getting all of um, these seeds of flower or flower and yeah. flower catalogs like uh, Michigan Bulb Company. What was that one? Gurley's. Gur, uh, Gur, Gurney's. Gurney's. And Stark. Stark. Yeah, I've been getting all these catalogs in the mail and just drooling over everything in there. Oh, okay, Miss Francine. I don't know. I'll have to get back with you on that. <laughs> I don't know. Where it is. I can't believe it's no already three fifty-seven. Hey, yeah, when, I know. That's what I was when is, to over, hurry. when is Overlook Valley coming? It's five. not at four. It's five. No one comes on at four, do they? Not that I know of. <laughs> Does anybody know anybody coming on at four? Y'all go check out Overlook Valley Homestead. They come on at five live. So I will see everybody over there. Mm -hmm. She said, "Stop it. It's not that important." <laughs> Well, now I'm going to find it. I'm actually I'm going to find it because now I'm curious and I'm mad because I can't find it. <laughs> oh, we, well. will, we will see everybody. I know I saw it. At five o'clock at Overlook Valley. Yes. Thank you for coming. We we're just being silly. And um, I, I'm being honest with you. I don't know that much about chickens. So. Hard neck farms, I, I uh, trust me, I, I know what you're talking about. It wasn't, it wasn't, but what last year that we got fiber optics here? Yeah, yeah. Man, but we were, still we were doing dependable. DSL when we first moved here. We had a modem, mm -hmm, a dial up thing. And then when they went to DSL, we're like, oh my God, DSL is so fast. And then when they went to fiber optics, it, it was like the speed of light. It was crazy. We're like, oh my God, fiber optics. Uh, we've only had it for like less than a year. Yeah, I think like but, early last year. Yeah, it's yeah. less than a year we've had this fiber optics stuff, but it, it still yeah. has like at a certain it's time a, of day, it uh, gets real busy and so it's slower. So I guess we've gotten. Thanks for stopping by, that. Legacy Home and Garden. <laughs> we appreciate we appreciate everybody stopping by. Thanks to all of our mods for keeping all the bad people out. Yeah, all of those bad people love us. <laughs> no. Oh, Amber, you're on you here. Hi, Amber. <laughs> Hi, Amber. Uh, yep. Uh, a lot of good people on here. I thank y'all. I hopefully we will see some of you at the shindig on our oh, Mary, gathering. Uh, Mary Carter's at four. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, okay. Everybody check out Mary. She's gonna go on at four. One minute. One minute. One minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're having a good day. Thank you, Amber. So far, thanks so for stopping by, Pete. We appreciate it, buddy. Uh, Paul says hi to Mac. Paul Duncan says hi. Oh, hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. <laughs> Tell him I said hi. <laughs> All right, everybody, go over to see Sarah and Mark at four and Mary. No, Mary at Mary four. at four and Overlook Valley. Mark and Sarah are going to be on at five. So at five. Yeah. Yes, I'm going. We're going to the shindig. Lord willing, we will be there. So we'll give everybody a hug, especially Miss Patty, our good friend. 
the tinkerer's wife. She's going to have a hug booth and stand there and hug everybody as they come in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but now at Deep South. Now Deep South Gathering, that's we're the first the one. We're going to be we? there. Oh, well, we may help greet people yeah. when we go there too. Yeah. So anyway, whoever's coming. Yes, Miss Brenda. We see you Hardneck see Farms. You Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> okay. We love you guys. Hope you have a good week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping. Thanks for meeting. Say, yeah, Luke. Luke. <laughs> Say bye. Say bye. Luke. He said bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see y'all later.